Hello everyone, my name is Dika. I'm an artist from Hartford, Connecticut. I specialize in acrylic paintings, murals, and mosaics. Today I get to spend some time with you creating a mosaic and explaining a little bit behind the process of what inspires me, how I pick colors, how I kind of organize everything. Um, but let's first start with what is a mosaic. A mosaic is a piece of art or picture that is created using smaller colored pieces of tile, glass, in the activity that we're going to be using today, paper. Um, you can really much, you can pretty much create a mosaic out of anything as long as you have smaller pieces making up a big picture. And that's actually one of the reasons that inspired me to make mosaics is because when I think of the world and I think about myself in perspective to the world, I know we're getting a little bit deep. We all have a role that makes up a big picture. So I love looking at mosaics because if you step back or if you step farther enough back, everything just looks like it's one piece. Everything works together cohesively. But then when you get closer, you can see all the small pieces that actually make the big picture and allow you to see what is in front of you. Because without those pieces, you wouldn't get the complete picture. You could probably imagine it, but it wouldn't be as vivid. Um, first, let's switch views a little bit so that I can show you what we're going to need to do our activities today, okay? I'm gonna show you an example of one of my modern mosaics. This is one of the smaller ones. I used a type of paste to create these. It's actually textured in 3D. So like I said, with mosaics, the most important part is that you're using small pieces to create a larger piece of art or work. In today's case, we are going to be using construction paper because I want you to know that you can use anything that you have at home. Here is one that I created a little while back and I chose these colors because it made me feel very playful. It's pink, red, orange, yellows, and whites. You can see like little spots because of the glue in the back but it still looks really good. I had this in a frame but I took it out so I can show you guys. Onto our handy dandy supplies. First we are going to need scissors then glue. You can use any construction paper that you have, any color. I chose black because of what I wanted to use. And then most importantly, the pieces to make up the mosaic. Right here, I am just using my scissors to cut some strips out of the construction paper. It doesn't have to be perfect because with mosaics, you kind of want every piece to be different, especially the way that I do them. I want them to look organic. I want it to look as if I kind of just cut it. I just found these pieces and like they're all just scraps. All right, so I'm taking the little strips, counting it up like money, putting them into a little pile so that it's going to be easier for me to just cut them into the little pieces that I was telling you about. Like I said, they don't have to be perfect. We just want them to exist. Okay. This is where it gets really fun. I'm going to use my scissors here to cut random shapes to help me fill in my mosaic a little bit more and make things a bit more organic. So if you have any extra scraps, this is going to be perfect for that because that's what this was. First, we're going to grab a pencil so that we can make our design on our piece of paper. I'm using white because I'm working on a black piece of paper and I wanna see it, but not see it too much. You wanna always draw your design first. That way you can go ahead and find your pieces that you want to fit in to the space that you have. And the only way you're really gonna know what space you have is if you design it first. So. I'm gonna go ahead and I want to do the peace symbol. So I'm gonna make a circle. 
don't laugh at my circle it's a little it's a little bit wonky that's okay because none of my shapes that I'm going to be using here are perfectly like cut oops oops and then I'm gonna go down the center that line this line with mosaics you can get as complex or as simple as you want this one is going to just show you the basics how to get started a great way of picking colors for your mosaic is choosing colors that you think work well together or that remind you of something like if i chose just reds and oranges and yellows this would probably give me something that's going to be reminiscent of fire something warm reminds me of summer or if i chose blues and greens i might get a different type of vibe so choose colors that resonate to you and what you like i have very basic colors so typically if I'm doing a mosaic, I'll have different shades of green or different shades of blue. If you have multiple shades, that is great. Incorporate it because you can do mixtures of light greens, light blues, different types of pink. I am using what I have. So I'm going to start. Oh, take a little second to get the glue open. I'm going to just use my glue stick and make a line going right down the center. And I did it so crazy because this glue is going to dry pretty clear. I think I'm going to do my peace symbol on all the white lines. I'm going to make those green so i'm just taking my finger sticking them down searching through and finding the green pieces they don't all have to be the exact same i like it when there's a little bit of variation when some things are smaller everything will stick to you it's okay it gets a little bit messy but what I like is when the glue starts to stick to you a little bit, especially working with construction paper, I can just say, oh, here's a green piece, stick my finger on it. And it kind of helps me pick it up like tweezers. And I'm sliding it down. So here you can see I'm leaving a little space in between just because that's kind of how I like my mosaics. I like when you can see space in between so that you know they are different pieces all right now you're just going to keep working until you fill up your whole shape okay now that we have our outline filled up what we want to do and you can start on the insides or the outsides wherever you want we're going to start to fill in our shape using our mosaic pieces. I've decided that I'm going to use yellow and reds. I think I am going to do red on the outside. And I think I want to try to play around with these yellow pieces and fit them on the inside. The good thing about cutting our scraps or creating our own scraps with mosaics or mosaic pieces is that we can adjust them after the fact. Since these are paper, we can just go in and cut it. So you'll see as I try to fit them in here, if something doesn't fit, you can just get the scissors and cut it to make it fit. I'm gonna take some glue Get it in there. 
like that. Uh -oh. I'm just going through my yellow pieces, picking them out. I'm going to use some of the bigger ones, so some of the weird shapes that we have. I'm just going to take those and set them to the side. Oh. All right, so I have that little spot with glue sitting there, and then I want to use the bigger pieces. All right, here you can see me placing those larger yellow pieces, trying to see what can potentially fit where. The beautiful thing about using construction paper outside of other materials is that if something doesn't fit, I can easily adjust my shapes. So here I found a little tiny piece. I cut it into two triangles so that I can get it to fit into that piece there. Now it fits pretty closely, but not all the way. So I kind of glue that part down and I use my sister's sisters I use my scissors to adjust the size of it so now you can see it fits a little bit better but it still leaves me space I'm just gonna go through and do that on the rest of the section going through and fitting all those pieces in I take a little bit of time with this because I want to try to get them to fit as best as possible. So here you'll see me placing that giant triangle right in the center and then just playing around with the other pieces that I picked out to see what I like, what I don't like, what I can cut right here, making another adjustment, cutting it. And then if it's perfectly, that was actually my favorite little section of pieces that I put in there. I felt like it looked really cool. All right, I'm back from filling in the last two sections of my piece mosaic. I am going to then take some of the red pieces and I'm going to add them to the outside. I'm going to incorporate any pieces or shapes that I have. So I'm not just going to use the bigger pieces or the smaller ones. I'm gonna be incorporating everything. So I'm just gonna be careful with the glue because as you can see, I got it on the table. Just be sure to wipe it up very carefully once you're done and not like put your paper on top of it because mine totally stuck one time and it ripped so i'm just taking the pieces like that and oh my gosh if you get glue on your fingers you can kind of use that to help you here i'm just using my finger which has a little bit of glue on it to help me pick up those pieces from the pile that i want to place and i'm not picking any place specifically to place these pieces. You can put them in a pattern if you would like to. I just opted for something a little bit more free. Very similar to my modern mosaics that I create with the tile pieces. I like it to look as organic as possible. So play around with the pieces, put them where you see fit, um, and just keep working on it. It takes a little bit of time. Don't get discouraged. It's very easy to get discouraged, especially like if you get other color pieces. But I promise you, just keep going. Right now, I am going to show you the final result of what I came up with. All right. I have finished filling out my shape. It's still drying, so you can see that it's a little bit streaky. The best way to show these off, like I said, is to put it in a frame. That way it looks nice and shiny. And then you're showing your art 
love and respect by putting it in a frame and putting it somewhere that you can see. If you follow this activity and you create a mosaic, please share it with the Wadsworth so that I can see it. I would love to see everything that you create. It's been a pleasure showing you guys a little bit of my mosaic process. Have a wonderful day.